So it's time for Gobstone Alley Potter Puffs. What a treat with all the unboxings recently. So you may have remembered or maybe forgotten that I actually now unbox Gobstone Alley on my channel. Now they were gone for a while, they had some technical difficulties. So this is August box in October, but never fear because they always, always do such amazing, 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 amazing boxes that I really didn't mind the wait. So this video isn't sponsored, but I do get sent Gobstone Alley boxes for free and I have a discount code for you guys if you want to get a discount. So it is Magical Potter Puffs, so go onto their website and order one to get a little discount from the Hufflepuff Queen and Gobstone Alley. I will leave a link in the description down below so that you can purchase a Gobstone Alley box if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, join the 10k strong Potter Puff community. Yes, I will stop saying that guys, but it still hasn't worn off. And bearing in mind, I'm filming this video the same day that I filmed a Geek Gear one, and so it's still the day I hit 10k, so yeah, let me off please. Anyway, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, leave me a comment down below and let me know which your favourite item is. Which your favourite item is? What your favourite item is? Here it is, it comes packaged very well and it's heavy. Now the Geek Gear one this month was light and it was lacking slightly I feel in items. I don't feel I'm going to have this problem with Gobstone Alley, it feels like they've got a mountain troll in here got their logo on the side. There needs to be quite a lot of owls to carry this. It's heavy. I'm gonna have to stop saying that. It is very heavy though. <gasps> this tissue paper is almost a luminous yellow. It's different to Geek Gear. It's changed. Don't look in the box. God, I need to start saying that to myself. It is this one. I'm just here for Muggle Studies Project trying to figure out what exactly is the function of a rubber duck. That's quite hilarious. It's basically saying, us muggles are turning up for muggle studies because we want to know what is the idea of a rubber duck. That is really cool. I love it. It's a bit of a random thing to go on the t-shirt. When people try and read that, when I wear it to work potentially, they're going to be like, so what does that actually mean? I love the design. The font's really nice. And the duck. Let's talk about the duck. Isn't that so cute? I can't wait to wear that. It's really, really cool. This is like a treasure chest. You know, like when you do lucky dips and there's things hidden, where well, there's like two things on top. And the first one is a bow battens badge. I'm glad I could say that right. I used to call it things like beer backstones. I just couldn't say the word bow battens. I don't know. Oh, that's how you are meant to say it. Anyway, it's like a little goblet of fire badge. And when I go to Dryacon, I'm gonna decorate my backpack because I've got a Hufflepuff Queen backpack. And I'm totally gonna to put pins on and badges. And this one may go on because it's really, really sweet. I love it. This is cool. What does this say? <gasps> wow, I need to have a bath today. Oh my God. This is so cool. This is what I mean. Like. Anytime you get annoyed at Gobson Alley, you just can't be. And I wasn't, just to let you guys know. But anyone who was, when they open this box, will be like, okay, I'm not angry anymore because this is the coolest Potter thing ever. <gasps> this, okay, this is the egg from the Goblet of Fire, a much smaller version. But it says, take a bath and take the egg with you. Does it open? Or am I just being silly? How does this work? So when I put this in the bath, is it going to do something? It's not a bath bomb because it's solid gold. Solid gold, solid plastic gold. But let's not ruin the magic. It's a real golden egg that I take in the bath and something's going to happen. Oh my goodness. How do people come up with these things? Right, that's it, I'm moving on because I'm just gonna start talking about that way too much. slugs wow oh i've never actually got to try these and they have juicy pear sour cherry tangerine watermelon and banana gordon will love the banana ones wow gordon can hold those how amazing the 
tea. Neville's hand-picked flower tea. Hmm. Don't know about that flavour because what a flower is going to taste like. I'm sure it smells nice though. Let me try it. I liked the one last month. So I told you last time that I wasn't a fan of flavoured tea, but I wanted to try it. And I actually got really into the orange tea. I had quite a lot of it. I'm going to say I've had at least 15 cups of it. So I'm proud of myself and I'm going to do the same with this one. It's actually got flowers in it. That's really weird. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. I'm going to have to give you an update on Instagram soon. I mean, I'm sure it's good for you if it's flowers, but literally, this is drinking flowers. It's just full of flowers. I'm going to keep saying the word flowers. My name is a flower, so maybe I'm in there. Maybe there's a blossom flower in there. This looks like a tote bag. <gasps> Now I have way too many tote bags. In my collection video, I told you I have way too many, but I can't help if people give them to me in boxes. But this is cool. It says Gringotts, Ollivanders, what does that say? Cottages, Cauldron, okay. Slug and Jiggers, Apothecary, Flourish and Blots, Amnesius Quills and Hogwarts, which is where we need to go. And that one's not ticked. That's really cool. I love the colours and actually the colours, well, the fact it's black, it just looks really nice. I'm going to put this in my handbag because I always, despite the fact I try and be prepared with carriers, never have enough. We have a tube in a lovely tube cardboard packaging. What is it? Is it shower gel? <gasps> yeah. So this is Felix Felicis. No, wait, this is a potion bottle. I think it's shower gel because it looks a bit like some of the shower gels I have. This is basically the best potion I could possibly have got in a Gobstone Alley box, guys. It's the Lucker Potion and it was brewed in September 1996. Gets better with age. Felix Felicis. And look how pretty that is. I tried to make my own last year and I put in like yellow food colouring, glitter, and it kept settling so it wasn't anywhere near as good as this. That doesn't smell good now. I don't think I meant to do anything with it. That is so cool though. I absolutely love the design of it and the label's perfect. So now I have eagle owl feathers. I'm just looking over there to see what I've got. Cornish pixie wings from another box and now Felix Felicis. That is beautiful. I'm obsessed. Okay, <gasps> this is a licensed product. This is like seriously Christmas. Ollivander's tin. Oh, I've seen this and I've never had one. And it's just literally a pencil tin, but I'm very crafty, so I always find a use for a pencil tin. And it's got Ollivander's makers of fine ones since 32, 382 BC. That's the kind of thing which will look gorgeous in photos. I've got some wand pens, so I can put my wand pens in my wand pencil tin. Awesome. And I haven't had a pencil tin since I was younger. I used to love the Beano, if any of you know what that is, it's a comic, if you're from the UK. And I had a Beano pencil tin and a few others. I love it. A Hufflepuff coaster. Now that's one of my favourite Hufflepuff coasters. The design pops. I love the design of it. I may use this next to my bed because I've got a few Hufflepuff coasters, I'm not gonna lie, but you can never have too many and this one will look so cute next to my bed. I call this room the Hufflepuff slash Gryffindor dorm. John's got his Gryffindor side of the bed, which I've taken over right now. That's my Hufflepuff side and I could put this coaster on that side. Wow, so much stuff. Another item which I wanted, but again haven't got, but I've seen it and really, really wanted it. And it is this Harry Potter tin set. Now it has got four different ones. I love the potion design one. And we've got platform nine and three quarters, a Quidditch World Cup and the Marauders map. They are so lovely. And I could put things like hair grips in, rings. Um, if we're talking about like, in pencil case, maybe like 
pencil sharpener. You could use it to put your pencil sharpenings in if you're at school, that's handy because most pencil sharpeners don't catch it. Loads of different things, but they're really, really cute. had four licensed items so far and now we've got this beautiful platform nine and three quarters key ring that is so nice and it's proper like heavy so I might put this on my backpack because that's gonna look amazing and it's just got the platform nine and three quarters sign on it we have two things left two whole things one of them must be the candle, so let's do that next. I loved the candle last month. I burnt it loads and it got better as I burnt it. The smell got extra strong. I loved it. Let's open this up. What scent will it be? Will it be Halloween? Hmm. Or no, that might be September's box. I love candles. the colour how nice is the colour it is Academy de Beer Buttons and that is obviously in French I did French and that was a really poor display of my French speaking skills which is zero. Oh my god that just hit me straight in the nose <coughs> that's not a bad sign it's just very strong I love the fact it's got these petals on top that is so cute. I love the design of it and the fact we've got a kind of Goblet of Fire theme going on. I don't know, we had kind of like three Goblet of Fire items with the badge, this and the egg. But that is lovely. Really, really like that. It smells of fresh linen, soap and flowers. And the school itself would smell like that. It'd be very clean, fresh and flowery. Perfect. Last but not least, we've got a Muggle Study sign, another licensed item. That is cute. It's an A5 Battle Wall sign. Good friend Geek Lips loves these and she has them behind her on her pot of wall for her video filming. Check out her channel if you haven't already. Um, and she has like a collection, so I know she would like this one or she may already have it, who knows. But I need to put this up. I might put it in my wardrobe with some other posters I've got. Great box. Wow, let's look in the leaflet. Let me just check, that's everything. Yes. Right, so we have got in this box a lot of items, 12, 13 items. So we've got the t-shirt, the licensed set of tiny boxes, Fleur Delacour's Dragon Egg inspired bath salt. Oh, so it's bath salt. Okay, so not as mystery as I thought, but that is so cool. I love the way they designed that. So pretty and I can't wait to use it. I love all bath products. So it seems to be like a bow button. Is it beer button, bow button? Right, bow button inspired box because that's three items from that. We've got the candle, the licensed platform nine and three quarters key ring, licensed house crest, uh, licensed house crest cork coaster, black cotton shopper, licensed pencil case from Ollivanders, um, bow buttons metal pin, licensed muggle studies metal sign, cozy elves tea, bottle of Felix Felicis, and jelly slugs. Wow. And the scent of the candle, guys. Please, can I have candle smeller of the day award? Because it is jasmine fresh cotton and blue bottle now i don't know what blue bottle is but i'm normally really bad at understanding scents and i just smell them and think if they smell nice or not and i got the fresh cotton 100 percent and i said it smelled like a flower jasmine there we go perfect i'm the winner i really hope that you enjoyed watching me unbox this amazing gobstone alley box make sure you do check them out and leave me a comment down below as i said earlier to come and chat with me and let me know what your favorite item is you will see me again soon for a very magical magical item which i get to review and share with you guys you're gonna love it i was shook when i found out what it was and I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing rest of the week and stay magical. Bye.